What's going on there, YouTube? Chilling with Twisted 420 here, and today we got a fun video for you guys. I haven't seen anybody else do a video about installing tritium vials on their favorite spinner, so I figured let's do one. There was a really, really nice write up on a Venom EDC Facebook page and Spin Space, a guy named Vincent. This dude has a bajillion tritium vials, and he wrote a nice little write up on what to do. So I followed his write up, I'll have a link to it in the description. So I saw his write up, and I was like, okay, I ordered everything I needed. Uh, all the stuff. Now there's a company named Mixglow. They're overseas, uh, I think in Taiwan or something like that. And they sell the tritium vials because you can't sell it and ship it in the US. And I'll explain what tritium is here in a second. I sent off my Mech Force Delta Core here to get customized by a really badass custom uh, spinner customizer here in Abilene, Texas. He goes by uh, Metal Morphosis on uh, Instagram, you gotta check him out. The dude does crazy work. He mainly does anodizing on titanium. So a lot of titanium spinner, he does crazy. I had him do some sandblast work to give my Delta Core a very nice Damascus steel kind of look with all the patterns. It looks super duper dope. Now the only thing left to do is add some trits to it. That's all we gotta do. Now, now what is tritium? Now I pulled it up on the internet, Wikipedia, just so you know. I'll give you the definition and I'll give you the layman's term. Tritium is um, a radioactive isotope of hydrogen. It's nat naturally occurring in some situations. It's in e even in some people's drinking water. Basically what you need to understand is it's radioactive goo sealed up in glass that glows. It doesn't need any external source of power to glow. It just glows in the dark. And I think it only decays, uh, I think the the, the light source only drops off or only goes dim every like 12 and a half, 13 years. So that's that's pretty good. It loses only, I think, 25 or 30%. I don't know, you guys gotta read on that. I'm new to the tritium, so don't quote me on all this. But basically, I went to mixglow.com. I think I spent like 82 bucks and then I paid 28 bucks for shipping because you can get it quicker. I think it got to me in like three days. These 1.5 by six millimeter trit vials go for six bucks a piece on mixglow.com. I got six blue trits and I got six yellow trits. And uh, we're gonna do three on one side here, three blue, three yellow, uh, front to back. You also had to order the right, I ordered the proper glue from mixglow.com. It's Norlin NOA61. Now the thing about this glue is, this glue clears like glass. It doesn't have any foggy anything. If you use like super glue or something else, it's gonna, it's gonna get foggy and it's gonna cover up the glow. With this stuff, it's glass clear, so you get your full brightness. Only thing is, you need UV light to cure it. So uh, on Vincent's instruction, he said to get a 36 watt uh, UV lamp that people usually use, women use for their fingernails and stuff. So I ordered that, I got one of those in. And basically we got everything we need to add tricks to this, to this thing. And I'm gonna show you guys the process and how to do it. My God, I've been talking for forever. Let's go ahead and get to it, people. Why don't we? Okay, people, here we are with everything we need. Also, uh, Mixglow threw in this nice little titanium uh, keychain ring and a nice little note. I thought that was pretty cool. All right, so we got our trits here. And I, I saw what Vincent said. He said, don't, I got built real big fat fingers, so it's difficult to do stuff. He said, don't use metal tweezers because they can provide static. So I got these ceramic tweezers. We're going to see if we can't start this and we're going to do the yellow first. All right, let me see if I can't just grab one of these little guns. Oh, all right, that seemed easy enough. There goes one. <laughs> uh oh, uh oh, uh oh, uh oh. These things are tiny. Oh, yeah, by the way, most spinners, not all, but most spinners have 1.5 by 6 millimeter uh, trit slots, and that's what I ordered. You can get different sizes also. But that is uh, what the Delta Core was calling for. Look at that. All right, now, they say to use a syringe. I might have a syringe. I don't know. This is a pretty fat dropper. I don't know. Uh, let me see if I got any kind of syringes. Okay, people. So I did have a 18 gauge syringe laying around. This is from my vaping days, mixing liquids and stuff back in the day. Let's just go ahead and get us, go ahead and get us a little, little bit of glue here. It takes a second to come up. Stop it, Tom. No, my cat grabbed the, the wrapping for the glue. Stop it. No, no, no. Okay. So let me see if we can do this. So I just, I don't want much. I just want a little bit in there. Okay, all right, I did uh damn it, it doesn't take much, like a drop. That's crazy, maybe I can get away with one drop here. All right, these are gonna be fully, fully encased. 
All right, so I think, I think that's it. Now I gotta figure out how to get the excess off. Let me, um, oh yeah, this is a three CC bottle that I ordered. I think it was 12 bucks is what it went for. Okay, how do, do I just wipe away the excess, I wonder? It's gonna blot it off. Yeah, I think I can just blot that off. Let me grab a, well, you know what? Maybe I should do it with my finger. Hold on one second, let me figure out what I'm gonna do next here. All right, people, I got it cleaned up a little bit. I just wiped most of it away with my finger. This glue kind of stinks. It smells like deviled eggs a little bit or something. But anyway, let's just go ahead and push her up in there. There we go. Now, they say you only need 10 seconds in here for a pre-cure, but I'm going to leave it in here for about 5 or 10 minutes, and we'll let it cure up real nice and come back and see how she's looking. They're glowing really good. It's hard to see from here, but got a nice glow under that UV light. All right, we'll check back. Okay, people, it's been a good five minutes. Let's uh, see how we look. All right, everything cured fine. Got a nice glass-like finish over the top. Let's go see how she glows in the dark and then we'll get ready to do the blue side. All right, people got a nice glow in here in the dark. Looking good, so far so good. Now let's go do the blue side. Okay, people, let's go ahead and install our blue trits. All right, now let me clean up this excess glue. Okay, I think I got that cleaned up to satisfactory levels. Let's go ahead and pop her in, cut her on, and we will wait a few more minutes and come back and check on her. While we're waiting, I figure I'd show you my only other uh, tritted spinners. This is the Spin, Spot, uh, Spin Star by Darth Vapor. It's uh, green and yellow, green and yellow, back and forth on both sides. It looks really nice. And then I have my Eye Fidget by Venom Defensive Design. It has, uh, gr uh, I think it's white trits on one side and blue trits on the other. No, green trits on one side and blue on the other. Pretty cool. So yes, the Delta Core will now be my third spinner with trits. Just figured I'd show y'all that real quick. All right, let's go ahead and get her out of there. Damn, my hands are too big to get in there almost. Oh yeah, look nice glowing under that light. And it looks like, look at that, nice curing. I think that came out pretty dope. Yep, you can run your finger right across it. It's smooth like glass. Impressive, let's take a look at it in the dark real quick. All right, people, and look at that. That is glowing nice. That is very, very nice. I love how that came out. Very cool, very, very cool. All right, people, and that's it. That's it. Now I get to enjoy my nice tritted out Delta Core. Pretty sweet. Now I could have done a better job spacing them and even them in and out. Even them. Oh, I can't even speak. I could have done a better job spacing them and getting them just centered perfect. But that's ah, fine. It's my first time. I enjoyed it. It's pretty easy. Really simple. Really, really simple. You just need the right tools and everything. Once again, got to give a big shout out one to Mech Force for making an awesome spinner. Two to Philip Atchison for, um, or AKA Melamorphosis for customizing said awesome spinner. And three, uh, a shout out to Vincent for letting us know how to do the whole trip thing, where to get everything. I'll have links in the description to Mix Glow. If you want to go look for it, look at their trip selection, maybe pick something out. Also, I try to have a link to the uh, instructional. I don't know though, it's their private group, so I probably won't be able to link them. But uh, there are some good write ups. Maybe he has them somewhere else. I don't know. I'll also link you to Metamorphosis uh, Instagram in case you got some titanium or stainless steel spinners you want to get customized. And a link to Mech Force. I think that's everybody. Yeah, that's everybody. All right, cool. So yeah, I hope you. I uh, hope this helps some people. I uh, hope you enjoy customizing your spinner. And uh, I'll see you guys next time. Y'all stay sexy out there. I'm out.